Here we go. What is up guys and welcome back to the Johnny Q channel. Thanks so much for watching. I'm actually really excited about today's video because for the longest time, I've wanted to collab with photographers in the area. Now when I say collab, there's so many different things that we could do, but I decided to kind of start out small and see where this goes and potentially even do more of these. But what I did was I said, guys, I'm gonna give you one photo that I took and I want you to edit how you would edit that photo. And basically, I chose that route because there's so many things that we could have done, but I like the idea of that every photographer, videographer out there, every creative has a different angle, a unique angle to their story and how they do things creatively. That simple edit can do more than just put up really good colors and make it look good. It actually can give people emotions. It can give people something to think about and it can move someone to do something. That's why I love photography. So that's why we're doing this segment in and edit the same photo. So pretty much six photographers, including myself, are editing the same photo that I took. And with every edit that comes up, I'll show you who edited the photographer and their Instagram so you can go follow them. So let's get started. And just a quick reminder, guys, I also have a Soundstripe giveaway right now going through June 20th, which is next Thursday. And that's three months of free music through Soundstripe. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Number two, comment below in one of my videos, hashtag JQ, and you'll be entered to win one of the free trials that I'm partnering with Soundstripe. So first, before we even get started into the edit, I'm gonna show you the original picture, and that's this right here. It's an okay photo. It's shot in raw, and let's go right into it. The first photographer that I'm collabing with is Brayden Dressel. He's a really good friend of mine. This is his Instagram. Follow him, awesome photographer, an amazing videographer, and this is his edit. Okay, let's break it down. I like it. <laughs> I mean, there's there's like no wrong way of, of doing this edit. I, it, there really isn't. And I like it because of two things. It shows his, his character and his edit style. If you go to his Instagram page, you'll see that his page is full of kind of this like really saturated yellow tone kind of almost in the field, golden hour, you know, sunset kind of feel. And I love that. I dig that about his edit. Obviously, he didn't like what was going on on the right-hand side here, along with the little, you know, US Bank ATM or garbage, whatever that is. But he cropped that in so that you can only be focused on those arches, kind of making you think, what are those things? And then obviously the skyline, again, with his edit of the golden hour saturated. I don't know what that's called, dude, Brayden, but I love that edit. You should name it something like name it something it, you you got it you you got it okay next photographer Jeremy Lee a Jeremy Lee is another photographer in Minneapolis amazing dude awesome hang and good photographer this is his edit okay let's look at it let's analyze it i like it <laughs> and i'm not just saying this because they're my friends or cuz i'm trying to be nice i genuinely like these photos and these edits so if if i didn't like it i'd tell you guys but I like that he went black and white only because everybody else did color and that's fine. But the black and white in this photo, I think really does work. Only because there's so many things happening in this photo that I, I think you can actually pick up on like features. Like if I can zoom in, oh, that's not zooming in. Right here, like all this feature, all the features in the background, like kind of makes you wonder like people walking like on the railroad. Wow, what is going on? <laughs> Apparently I can't use Lightroom today. It almost, it, I mean, it, it makes me feel like it was shot like a, a film camera almost. I don't know if the grain was intentional, but there's some grain in the edit. I, I like it, I, I really do. Jeremy, you killed it. Okay, moving on, Alex Melgosa, his Instagram handle's right here. Go follow that guy. That guy is a workhorse. I think is in LA, somewhere in California, and he works with a bunch of different artists and he just goes hand with photography every single day. Okay, let's look at the edit. Yeah, I mean, it's, I like it. It's close to the original, which I like, but it's not like oversaturated or it's not over-processed. It's kind of like true to the picture, true to the actual setting. But so you can see where the sun's coming and hitting on the arches and then the shadows in the back where it's getting darker. Obviously, I don't think this, this was not cropped, which is fine. So it leaves you wondering like, what's this stuff in, on the right-hand side? Like, are those bars? Was I like on a staircase, which I was, but it makes you wonder like, okay, there's more to, you know, there's more to this picture than what's said on screen. I like it. It's very simple, but yet effective. Very effective. Alex, you killed it. Good job, dude. Next, 
on the list is Isaiah. Instagram handle right here. Go follow that guy because that guy is literally crazy. He just got done with a 45 day challenge and that I think he was taking a photo every single day for 45 days, trying to improve himself, trying to make himself get out of his comfort zone and shoot something for 45 days. That's, that's so dope. That's awesome. I'm encouraged by that. Okay, let's look at the photo. Let's analyze it. I like it because it's close again to the photo that was taken. Like I'm saying that golden hour, you can tell it's, it's somewhat processed a little bit, but what pictures aren't processed? Again, this makes me feel like it was shot like on a film camera, the way it was edited. I don't know, just something about it. Is it just me? Like, let me know. I, I feel, I feel it looks like it was shot in film, but it was not. It was shot in the Canon 5D Mark II. Yeah, I mean, it just, to me, it looks old school that this edit, it's great. I like it. Again, kind of that golden hour saturated look in some parts like the arches down here. I mean, oh, even down here in the right-hand corner where the trees and the light and the poles. I mean, the buildings are really crisp. You can see the sun kind of just uh, kissing the buildings. <laughs> this building over here looks like it was Photoshop. It wasn't, but it just does, it looks that way. Yeah, Isaiah, you killed this dude. This is awesome. These are all so good right now. Uh, next on the list is Miroslav. Okay, this guy took some of my photos on our second anniversary with my wife, and that was purely amazing. This is his Instagram handle. Go follow that guy. He does weddings. He does engagements. He does everything. The guy is a freaking genius. Let's analyze this, uh, this edit here. I like it because it's so much more different than the other ones. It's, it's got this really just yin-yang, dark and white kind of thing going on for it. Like, I don't know if it's really in Golden Hour. I spec oh, I totally love the dark, like, like the dark and brown gold down here in the right-hand corner. The sun's kissing the buildings right here, right down there. And then you have this, like, stark blue cold area in, in the skyline. And then you come down here, you come down to the south side, then you have this weird architecture with these, like, really weird art artwork on the buildings and arches, and it just gets super light. And then it just gets really dark. It kind of it kind of makes you move into, like you start here, you move, you go here, and it brings you all the way up. Like it says how that's how I saw it. That's a good it's a good S curve. I like it. You guys are killing it with these edits, dude. I'm so pumped for this. Mirosloff, you killed it, dude. Good job. Love it. I think that was all. And this is my edit. Okay, that's my edit. Obviously, I kind of cropped it in as well, so you're not seeing the bars in the right hand corner. I wish that stupid US bank ATM or trash can wasn't there. I wish this pole wasn't there. I probably could have Photoshopped it out, but I didn't want to go to that length. Uh, maybe that's just being lazy on my part. But again, it's part of the picture. Like why fake it? it it's all there. The, the pole was there as well. So let me just look at this photo again. And when I tried editing this photo, I specifically tried making it true to what I was seeing when I took that photo. And that's what I like about, you know, photography and how I edit my pictures. When I take a photo of something, I really try to make it uh, not over-processed, but in a way that's processed where, yeah, I took that photo and that's what you saw. Like if you were standing right in that little spot with the staircase in front of the U.S. Bank Stadium in that time of day, you would totally get this exact same picture uh, without camera. You'd just be seeing that. So that's why, you know, that's... That's the way I edit things. Doesn't you don't you don't have to edit that way, but that's just the way I edit. I mean, I like it just because it's just true to what you could be looking at at this exact same moment. The highlights are good. There's dynamic range in this photo. I love I love the shadows within the arches. And then over here you have the sun kissing this building right in the right hand corner. Man, I I like it all. I really do. I, I like it that much. I would frame all of these edits. <laughs> They're just that good. Uh, and just so you guys know, this photo was shot on a Canon 5D Mark II. An old, old camera. Which really goes to show you, you don't need the latest gear to take good photos. You don't need the latest camera equipment, the latest lens to get good edits. You just have to kind of know what you're doing with the camera, point and shoot, and make sure you're really exposed properly, not overexposed. And you can edit somewhat well in Photoshop, Lightroom, or whatever you use. Just make sure it's not over-processed. So there you guys have it. That is six photographers editing the exact same photo. And I'm gonna tell you, it turned out super awesome. Thanks so much for everyone who collaborated on this edit with me. Thank you so much. Again, please follow them on Instagram. Uh, give them a like, give them a follow, and let them know how cool and how awesome they are at taking photos. So with that being said, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time in the Johnny Q channel. Thanks. Peace.